Yeah. And then I made everyone start calling, talking on set in a British accent. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe my British accent was maybe a little bit charming for you. Maybe a little bit. Yes. Yes. I just want to know, did it start before? Did it, you fall for each other while you were filming? Take me on the journey a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, this one is, is <laughs> well, we both are, I'd like uh, to say, very professional, mm -hmm. of course. But I think it was kind of funny. So I, at first I was like, oh God, pretty Canadian man, mm -hmm. really attractive, named Steven and mm -hmm. like an actor. I was like over nope. here doing my own thing. This one was, <laughs> no one's a lot of Stevens, yes. So yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. yeah, but and that scene was like a brother to me. But then I, I don't know, it was like after the first week, I was like over here in my own world-ish and then his Chris, his, so I love crystals. I'm very drawn to them. Mm -hmm. He had on some bracelets. So do I. I was, yes. I was like, wait a se second. What a, uh, what is, what do you know about these and why do you have these? Something's, there's something happening here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we um, started to chat a little bit more about. Yeah. And then I made everyone start calling, talking on set in a British accent. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe my British accent was maybe a little bit charming for you. Maybe a little bit, yes. Yes, you yes. kind of like that. And I yeah. also told everyone on set they no longer could call you Stephen. They had to call you Prince Henry. But in a British accent, of in a Brit So everyone yeah, was pretty... talking with British accents, which yes. is funny. Thanks to Katie. Um, and can, uh, they probably still are, actually. But I still <laughs> would like, yeah, actually, it's just more fun when you have an accent. Yeah. Of course. Um, but then, again, total pros, and then, yeah, we sort of just... Yeah, we, I, it's, you know, there's... It happens. There's, yeah, it, it just happened. It's hard to explain, but uh, certainly, um, I just think the more we got to know each other, we just realized we're basically the same person, just in a different different skin. Yeah. Which was odd. I've, yeah. never, I've never met someone that's so similar. Yeah. In in in, uh, in ways that I am. So uh, it's uh, it's been it's been quite a journey. A it's very, like we finish each other's sentences. Kind of. Ugh. I wanted to know though, while you're filming and you're sort of falling for someone in real life and on screen, do you think that helps um, the kind of the process, or does it hinder it in any way? I'm just interested in kind of how that affects everything. Well, I'd say certainly it's important to keep it professional. And as we did, um, you know, you, those feelings come up. And personally, for me, it just uh, allows me to land a little bit more in truth. I mean, our job is obviously to be as truthful as we can in, in these circumstances that are surreal, unreal. But uh, when something is actually triggering truthfully inside you, of course, that's uh, it, it helps. It, yeah, <laughs> a lot. it's kind of interesting because we didn't share with anyone that this, mm -hmm. you know, we obviously again professional and, and kept it that way. However, I felt as though it's almost like there was this layer because he and I kind of knew this secret thing that we nobody else knew, and like mm -hmm. we could let our guard down when our characters we're supposed to and like allow mm -hmm. space to fall into one another. Uh, and so, I don't know, I almost feel like that added like a certain type of element to mm -hmm. it, at least for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I definitely think there is something to say that there, I mean, we just couldn't help it. Like the, when chemistry's there, you just are it's like- just there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I remember there's this one scene <laughs> in the barn where I literally am looking at him and that was the moment for me. And I'm kidding, I'm not kidding you. I, I'm like leaning on the table and he's he's saying his lines. And I just like, I think I like almost fell over because I was just so like, I don't know. You were, I, was, it was, I was checking out your drawings actually. Right, or your architecture right, drawings. Right. I was really Ava's enamored by drawing, the drawings. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, they say when the knees buckle, that's a good Yeah, sign. I was like, so, Oh, right, we're here, uh-huh, okay. And interestingly enough, Katie and I were like, when did you feel something more than the characters? And it was actually for us the same time in that scene, which was really interesting, yeah, so. Different moments, I think. Different, uh, well, like, I don't know, 30 seconds before, perhaps, yeah, yeah. I beat you to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if the audience, you know, picks up on it.